بعز لنا وانتو بيادة وانتو السلوك من الله تعالى العظيم في هذا المجلس أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم Look at the last couch there إحسان شيخ إحسان Look now there Why are you sitting with them? You? <laughs> About his knee. Huh? About his knee. Put someone with turban there. Look, you see them? No, look, look. Ah, okay. You see them? This is this how they look. Uh, in front of Awliya Allah, <coughs> scholars in that time, looking with long beard, turban, majestic, sitting and learning from the shoe. Yeah, Allah, I have finished. It's uh, Libasul Haiba. No, no, just Haiba. Libasul Haiba. Yeah, the, the, the dress of majestic look. Allah dress them with majestic look. If everyone on earth wearing like that, oh, you'll be flying. But not that one sitting with them. <laughs> it's not of them. But because of them, Allah will forgive them. <laughs> What is needed beside that, beside that look? You need that, like a, a clock, you are looking at it, a watch, and you see the needles, but needs a, a instrument inside to make it to work. You need the battery that charge the mechanism in order to move. And all of us, in the eyes of sheikhs or awliyaullah, and the eyes of Prophet wasallam, all of us, we look the same. And they want us to have that charger, to charge our batteries in order that to function. And as we said in the previous session that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us very important secret that if we carry that secret we will be able to charge our batteries. That battery, you know, is the heart. The heart is not charged. Don't say, oh no, my heart is working, charging. It's okay, it's pumping, that's something else. It has to pump ashk. Infatuation. What? Infatuation. Infatuation. Yeah. You know infatuation? <laughs> <laughs> Dictionary. What's infatuation? English. Love. Love. Oh, who said that? You have to have ashik. You have to have love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, love to Prophet. In order that charger will work. The battery is there, but it's empty. What you put in the battery to work? Acid. What the acid does if you put on your hand? Burn you. Acid means when they, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make, make the battery works on acid. 
to burn what is what is there in order to to produce a, a energy that can run the pump to charge so what we need we need that catalyst that acid to put in our heart that acid what it will do it will do it will kill all whatever there of not accepted intruders into the heart it will kick them out that acid will be burning the whole poisonous elements that they are in the heart Allah gave us a way to do that is he gave us a, his secrets word he gave us the Holy Quran and he said oh my servant you want to be in my home where is his home on earth is Kaaba you want to be in Kaaba what you need to do carry my Quran in your heart then I give you my Kaaba Al Amal Bil Quran brings you the work to, to act on what you read from Holy Quran takes you to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. uh, what Sayyidina look awliya Allah they, they pass into a state of of love they cannot control themselves not all of them some of them like Abu Yazid al-Bastami Allah gave him a gave him power that can awaken people up we come back to Sayyidina Abu Yazid al-Bastami but before we go there I will say the Grand Sheikh story of one of the Khalifas of Sayyidina Jamal al-Din Sayyidina Abdul Khalik al ujduwani called for Khalisa Muhammad Abdul Khalik al ujduwani was living in Maru in Central Asia what's known today as Uzbekistan near Bukhara we visited there with Mawlana Sheikh Nazim. He had a murid. That murid was charging, was really a murid, that he was always doing as much as he can in reading. Quran and acting on what he can do in Khalwa sometime you can finish the whole Quran in one day in every hour you can finish three shows ten hours you finish the whole Quran those who are doing khalwa daily they can read the whole Quran he was like that he was reading the whole Quran from beginning to end Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his heart his house that's what we, I will give example of Abu Yazid but before that Allah gave him a specialty through Prophet ﷺ from Prophet to his Shaykh <coughs> give him open to his heart he used to go from one village to another village from one place to another walking 
not using a, a horse or a donkey. They, he goes walking. They, they, they used from Central Asia go for Hajj. They used to go walking. Take them two years. There was one wali. It took him seven years to reach Medina and Mecca, walking. But how he does it? Every step he moves, he stop, pray two rakats. Move, stop, two rakats. Move, stop, two rakats. Doesn't have any provision with him. Nothing. He went carrying only with him in his heart love of Quran, love of prophets. Yeah. One one khatwa, one step. one step, one rakat. One step, one rakat. One step, one rakat. Two rakat. He do he pray sunnah. Besides his obligations, Allah provide him wherever he goes. He finds wherever he hungry, he finds some animals coming out of nowhere, deers or lamb or whatever. He takes the milk or goat, drink it and go. He doesn't take the animal with him. Animals sometimes follow. Seven years to go, seven years to come. How we can do now these days? You say go from here to uh, to the ship. You need a car. <laughs> say come at four thirty. Come at six <laughs> thirty. <laughs> and we say, oh, we are uh, we are doing it too much. We are coming for fajr and praying and make. A, Praying the Hajjud, praying Fajr. Alhamdulillah, it's whatever uh, uh, slow uh, movement we are, steps we are doing, we are struggling. Allah, we ask Allah to forgive us. These awliya, Allah, himmatul rijal, taqla'ul jibal, uluwul himma min al iman. The zeal of men pull out mountains. Allah him this high zeal is from faith. Strong faith, strong. It's like a crane. Take the whole mountain, throw it somewhere else. So that or Kalisa Muhammad goes his name or Kalisa Muhammad. Go from one village to another. He was from that area. They speak uh, Dalastani language. <coughs> Some of them they speak Farsi language. Many awliya Allah they speak Farsi. So, moving from one village to another on his left foot. Enter the village, goes in the member in the mosque, and begin to speak. People are attracted. As soon as he enters a village, it's like a magnet. People come. He goes to the magic, people come. He goes up, and Grand Sheikh says that they used to be like 5,000, 10,000 people listening to him. And he began to speak, and in the middle of his speech, he look at them, and he say like that, not clapping, but making sound. Clapping means you are do, clapping happy with someone, you may clap to him. Clapping to make their attention, to listen to him. Say, now you cry. That's it. Cry. All of them, they cry. No one can stop himself from not crying. Allah gave him power.
and he raised his hand, he said, Ya Rabbi, all of them, they are crying, repenting from their sins. Amen. Forgive them. As soon as he says that, all of them crying, another time, bring their attention back and say, now you laugh. <laughs> all of them laughing. He raised his hand, he said, Ya Rabbi, they are happy with your mercy. Forgive them. And at that moment, he feel the presence of Prophet Sallallahu very happy. Allah gave him that specialty. Does this his work? Nothing else. Make them to cry, saying, Ya Rabbi, they are repenting. Make them to laugh, say, Ya Rabbi, they are happy with your mercy on them. Allah will forgive them. Prophet Sallallahu intercessor for them, forgive them. <coughs> so, he used to go from one village to another, turning hundreds of villages from non-believer to believers, through that only. Where are these today? They are hiding. They are there, but they are hiding. Because too much ignorance, waiting until ignorance fills the earth. Mahdi salam comes, then they show you their power. That time is going to be power like, like you use a word in English, like crazy. Means too much. Awliya Allah going to show their powers that never been seen before. So Abu Yazid, Abu Yazid al-Bastami used to... You know this story, but we are bringing it that how, how the heart turned into a house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when someone is pious and sincere, Allah turned his house to uh, his heart to a house of Allah. <laughs> That's why he said, "Qalbul Mu'min," Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Qalbul Mu'min, Baytul Rabb, keep that in focus, put it, and think about it. The heart of the believer is the house of Allah." Prophet Sallallahu said that hadith and Allah in the holy hadith revealed to Prophet, Prophet said that neither my heavens nor my earth contained me but the heart of the believer contained me. So Abu Yazid al-Bastami entered the village like that wali but on a higher level, entered the village, this is also this is what he, he used to do. Enter, and people were attracted toward him in the masjid. He said, "Oh, where, 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 why you are, where, where you are directing your face to make sajda? Where you are directing it is not real. Direct it to me." your sajda will be accepted. There were a lot of people. Most of them ran away. They cursed him and ran away. Few of them stayed. They went into sajda. They fainted. From the light that they saw in his heart. Because his heart turned to be a house for this manifestation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's light in his heart. Neither my heavens nor my earth contain me, but the heart of believer contain me. That contained me means containing my, my the manifestation of these blessings, of these lights. And he was correct. Why he was correct? Because when you make sajda, you say, I'm 
directing myself to Qibla. Where is Qibla? This is Qibla. Oh, but where? We cannot see except the wall. Huh? We are not seeing. We are blind. We say that Qibla is this direction. And we we direct our, according to Allah's order, we direct our face in our prayer to Qibla. But if you see it <coughs> physically, is the same as you don't see it? When you see it physically, that's why when you go to Mecca and go into Haram, Masjid al-Haram, when you pray, what you do? You have to, you have to look at Kaaba. Don't look down like now here we pray. We don't look at the wall. We look at the where we our head is going to make sajda. That's because you cannot see. We are blind. But in Kaaba, it's in front of us. You look at the Kaaba. You don't look at the floor. You look what Allah made it holy, made it holy. So awliya Allah, when you are in their presence, their heart is, is, is a symbol of Kaaba. Their heart is full, they are full of light, of secrets. That's why Abu Yazid al-Bastami with that wisdom, he said, make sajda. <coughs> Not make sajda to me. They didn't understand many of them. But those who understood, they went into such that they fainted. Some of them, they didn't faint. He left those who fainted. Oh, Allah, you take care of them. My job is finished. They went into Allah's love. In that ocean, they entered. The other ones, 300 left, followed him. He gave them another test to make them to run away also. <laughs> Only one left. <coughs> Following him. He said, you are my Khalifa in this area. So, where we have to look is what is important. Our vision must be always on what, where we can charge our batteries in order our house will be full of light. And as we said before, the light of the heart, the, the pilot is there. Yulad al-insanu ala al-fitra. Allah created a human being, as, as Prophet said in the hadith on innocence, that pilot of faith is there for everyone today when you want to have warm water always there is pilot oh, what you call it it's not pilot pilot light. There, huh? pilot light pilot light is always on as soon as you open the water it's come the fire come to to heat the whatever you want to heat the boiler So the pilot, pilot light is in the heart of every individual. But what is happening? There is no gas coming. Because it's blocked. If you open it, the gas comes. And then the pilot is on. And any time you want to use it, the boiler is boiling the water. And how you know it's boiling the water? You see the lead of the pot is shaking from because boiling water. So the lead of our hearts must be shaking in order to know that it is working. Sometimes it shakes like yesterday night. Ali Riza, his heart was shaking. He went into a trance of drumming. He cannot anymore control himself. 
he was taken by them and many others out of love so Quran the secret of Holy Quran will turn your heart into a home for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where the light comes in then you can know how much is difficult as Prophet sallallahu said in his hadith Ana a'rafukum billahi Ana a'rafukum billah I am or I I am the one that knows about your Lord more than anyone don't I saying to his Sahaba and to everyone don't come and give lessons in knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala today you have professors they give they teach philosophy or logic or theology and they say oh we are in the Gnostic journey teaching students <coughs> Prophet is saying, I am the one that knows more than anyone. Don't come to me and tell me about your journey. Your journey is like a child. Only put his feet in the water, in the ocean. Cannot go in. Ana a'rafukum billah. And what he said, وَأَشَدُّكُمْ لَهُ خَوْفًا Not only as much as I know more, as much as I am scared more. Okay, very important. As much as I know more, as much I am scared more. Scared of what? Scared out of his punishment? Scared of his punishment? In two ways. To punish you when you are not believing in him, you are going to feel, see punishment, real punishment. And when you know him more, you are punished because you are worried that you will be away from his love. As much as you approach, as much as you know more, you begin to feel how much you are far from the real love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or if he prevents that love from you, what happened to you? That's why he said, وَأَشَدُّكُمْ خَوْفًا لَهُ um, More than anyone scaring from him, fearing him. And this is Prophet Fearing him to be away from his love. It's difficult. It's, it's, it's a serious issue here. That, that Prophet is saying that means what we are going to do in the day of judgment <coughs> when everyone is being called how we are going to be scared there. You do something in dunya and the police comes to catch you, you will be scared, not? You will be running. They call them fugitives. We are running. Now we are fugitives. All of us, we are fugitives. Running away like rabbits. Where to run? There is no way to run. You are end, you will end up in his hand to be questioned what you have done. So Allah give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us two doors. One door coming to him with his holy Quran. And the other door to go in more is through the door of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
through the holy hadith of Prophet. So you have two sources for the door to open. Holy Quran and Holy Hadith. Man ata'a al-Rasul, wa Allah. Who obeys Prophet is obeying Allah. Who obeys Allah is obeying Prophet. So you come through the Hadith, through the Quran, doors open, your heart will become what? A home for these lights. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad. That's why Abu Yazid al-Bastami said, Al-Mu'min al-Arifu, the believers who is in the way, in the journey of Gnostics, he, the knower, will not ask anything from Allah. He will not ask him dunya and he will not ask him akhirah. Only he will ask him to be with his, in his divine presence. To, to be dressed with the power of sainthood and to be given that leadership and to be Amir means Amir Awliya Allah are all, are all Umara Awliya Allah are all Amirs Allah dressed them with that that's why they are the Amir of their group when one day we'll be dressed, and we end up with this. When they follow the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they are patient on difficulties, when gold and dirt will be one to, their, to them, they are not greedy for the gold, and they are not uh, uh, disgusted with the, with the dirt. Balanced doesn't mean any any difference to them. If they, if this whole world turn into gold in their hands, it doesn't change them. They are still with good characters and they are humble. <laughs> the second is alhamdulillah. You praise them or you humiliate them. They same to them. They don't get upset and they don't get happy. You praise them as much as you like. It doesn't change them. They are still humble. You humiliate them as much as you like, they are still the same. They don't change, but we change. To them, if you give them or you take from them, you give them or prevent them from getting anything, it's the same to them. They don't mind. You put them in hellfire or you put them in paradise. <coughs> They are happy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever He wants. وَالنِّعْمَ وَالنِّقْمَ To get all kind of favors from Allah or to get all kind of... Uh, نِقْمَ means disappointment. is the same to them. They never get disappointed. وَالْغِنَى وَالْفَقْرِ They become rich or they become poor. is the same to them. وَوُجُودُ الْخَلْقُ وَعَدَمِهِمْ To be with people or no, to be not with no one, for them the same. If that's the case, فَإِذَا تَمَّ هَذَا كَانَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ مِنْ وَرَاءِ ذَلِكَ كُلِّهِ If they will establish that in their lives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with them, behind them, looking at them, order his Prophet وسلم, to dress them. He will sign their affidavits for leadership, for to be emirs on his servants. And whoever follow them, they will benefit. 
So you want to be Amir? You follow that rule. Hey, who can do that? You can? We cannot do that. But we must not say we stop to try to do that. You try. You were able, you were able, you were not able, it's also, he wants it like that. We leave our things to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us, Amen. and we can continue later.